So, let's again inspire you for a while. This is just short inspiration. I'm just going to show you a little more. Uh, this is a um, music room in one of the university in Dubai. Uh, I think this is the English school project in Dubai. And this is their music room. And you can see this Dialogs Evo. It can show you the arrow plus the photometric diagram here. And at the same time, you are in the 3D view. So that's why it's so amazing. The Dialogs Evo is really amazing. Another view here. Uh, same school, the um, English school in Dubai. I think this is the faculty room. So I'm showing uh, the arrows of the luminaires at the same time the false uh, no, ISO lines and lax value on the calculation surface. And it looks amazing. And you can see on the side that those green, for example, this art and design room, cleaners, corridors, DNT engineering, electrical room, faculty office, these are all green. It means it meets all the requirements for this room. And I have one red here, which is the lobby. And the lobby is a little complicated uh, design, so that's why it's a little red. Okay. Another one here, this is a German's, uh, German, sorry, chairman's office. It's, um, I think it's the Mac office in Dubai. And this one is in the penthouse. So this is a rendered or ray traced image. You can see those suspended luminaire on the cold light. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the amazing feature of the Alaxivo. And another one, this is the sketch from the architect. I think he did this one uh, using a SketchUp software. This is, a, again, a school in Dubai. And they asked our company to donate some luminaires for their classroom to show off different kinds of fittings like downlights, 60 by 60. And because we have some old stocks in the warehouse, then we donated some of our fittings. And this is the layout of their drop ceiling where they're planning to put the luminaires. Okay, so this is how it looks. I ran a calculation uh, with this school. Uh, so aside from giving the luminaires for free, we also uh, suggested the mounting position and the location and the arrangement of the fittings. So we have different types of fittings in this drop ceiling. We have big drop down lights, spotlights, the one with the diffuser, uh, long uh, luminaire, flat, flat luminaire, and then so surface mounted one, and then 60 by 60, different down lights, a different optic, and another fittings there. So that's how it looks. Another view from this school, and you can see there are some also suspended luminaires here and in the top of the table. So I think this classroom is a combination of a uh, um, classroom and experiment room, something like that, for electrical engineering course. And then what else? So another university, this is, a, uh, this is the Algorare University, again in Dubai. And you are looking now in the atrium. So you can see I show the, lumin the luminaire location by selecting all the luminaires. You can see those uh, dots with yellows. These are the luminaires. And uh, this arrangement are based on uh, architect's concept. So this is how it looks. So there are um, wood grills on the top, dropped on the ceiling. And there is also our fitting here with the linear suspended ceiling, uh, suspended luminaire. And suspended down lights there. And there's a long string here attached with another suspended spore spotlight to highlight the logo in this lobby. I also ran a daylight calculation for this project because uh, this is a school. So they usually use the building during the daytime and they want to maximize the energy use, so they also want to use the daylight for their overall lighting design. And there's another view for this atrium, so you can see that I also created the stairs, and under the stairs canopy, there are suspended down lights. There you go. And of course, those suspended linear luminaires. And of course, the false color of this. So the architect is not so familiar with the lighting design. So I showed him how uh, the, how powerful the, the light on the atrium. 
and I explained that, for example, the green is 150 lakhs, this yellow is 338 or 400 lakhs, and blah, blah, blah. And then he, he understood everything by this color. Okay, and if you combine the daylight, of course, it's much brighter. It's like 1,000 lakhs uh, on the daytime, like uh, 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock. Because of the orientation of this glass facade in front of this lobby. All right. Uh, question so far. Is there a question with these inspirational project examples? I will unmute you all. Tell me if you have question in the yesterday's class and also with this recap and this inspirational um, project. Do you have questions about this? Do you feel inspired? Okay. Very good. No questions. Let's go. Okay. I will unmute you now. And you can just review this one if you want to understand it more. Okay. So we'll proceed with the hands-on. And let's start with the using luminary catalog continuation. 